Hey, how's it going? How is everybody doing? This is just Trevor Schmo back again. Do another video. This video is going to be one of these boxes. The problem is, is I'm not exactly sure which box is which. This one, you can hear it's got a lot of stuff moving around in it. This one doesn't. I bought two boxes. I bought their, their like fall. There's a Disney, as you've seen from the title, Disney uh, box. I bought their like fall one, I think is what they call it. But they also had this other one available that was just princess one that I thought I'd just buy. And, uh, because whenever I buy something like this, even though my daughter's 26 years old, married, and, and has a baby now, my grandson, um, I still buy her stuff like because she's a big Disney fan, just like me. And I figure the princess one might be a good one for her, because she might get some stuff out of it that she might like. But I don't know which box is which, because they're not really, like, labeled at all. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that this one is the fall box. Just because it feels like it's like full. And this one, I'm going to guess is the princess box because maybe it don't have as many items in it. Because I think this is one they just kind of just, the princess one isn't one, it's like one of the regular releases. I think it's just one that they threw together. For people to order. I might be wrong, but that's what we're to go with. So hopefully I'm opening the right one. Um, if I'm not, then I guess I'll open both of them in this video. Uh, but only if this is, if this isn't the regular fall box, if this is the princess one that I'm opening, then I'll open the other box and then I can just order her another one. But hopefully, I'm figuring right. We'll find out. Be nice if they label them a little bit. Disney, if you're watching, or Disney Movie Club in particular, if you're watching. Uh, maybe if you're going to have different boxes like this at the same time, just, just label them different. Now, there is, like, this one does have red writing here. The other one just has white. Um... But, I don't remember it saying anywhere like that that difference was going to be apparent. So, again, don't know. Alright. So, here, here we go. We'll just, we'll just go with it and, and see. First item out is Olaf's Frozen Adventure. This really doesn't uh, say anything. I mean, it's obviously Olaf is the kind of the the feature in this. He's not really a princess. Obviously, it does have the princesses from Frozen in it. Includes six Disney tales. They got like a little thing on here in case you're just... I mean, you would wrap it up though, wouldn't you? If you're going to give it to somebody, you'd like wrap it. Unless you're just going to stick it in somebody's stocking it. But this is a Blu-ray, DVD, digital, digital code, multi-screen edition. What the hell does that mean? I don't know what that means. But yeah. Pretty, pretty good. I like Olaf. That was like my that was my favorite character. And yes, yes, I've seen Frozen. Why? Because it's a Disney film. I already said I'm a big Disney geek. I, I'm not ashamed of that. Walt Disney was an absolute genius. He, 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 he took animation and storytelling to a much higher le level and made made what essentially are cartoons um, enjoyable for the whole family. Alright, next up we've got a, looks like a throw blanket. 
And I'm going to guess that this is Olaf. Now, it looks like you can never have too many of these. Let me tell you. These fleece blankets, you can never have too many of them. Especially in Ohio, winter. Yeah. You know, you, you, know, you got, you know, like, like if I was going to have one out, if I was going to have my daughter and, and her husband and, and grandson over, say, for like a movie night or something, and it's cold, I got plenty of these where everybody can, uh, can have a blanket. These things are nice and warm. I mean, they're they're not real thick, but they they actually do a pretty good job. But yeah, there we go. We got a big old all of little fleece blanket. It's not a real big blanket. I want to say it's like 36 by 54 or something like that. But yeah. Cannot go wrong with fleece blankets. Next, we've got, so looks like it might be like a Christmas ornament, which I haven't, oh, that's kind of cool, a little like uh, Mickey ears, and it says peace, it's like a, uh, feels like, I don't think it's like real brass, but I mean, it's metal. It's nice. I'll take that. I used to buy like a new Christmas ornament every year. I haven't done it in a few years. Uh, I mean, I could still do it. I, I, I normally put up two trees. Of course, I used to put one downstairs in the bay window. Well, I can't do that now because the damn dog will just knock it over. So um, I'm debating on whether to try to put that tree up, but just put it on like the end table in the corner. Still not, not sure whether I'm going to do that or not because I, I'm worried she'll still get up and uh, try to knock it over. Next, we got a little uh, like charm thing. And it's got Olaf on it. And got a little silhouette of Olaf on there. These are just like little charms they put, you know, all different ones. Of these. Like normally, whenever you like, you pre order a movie from the Disney Movie Club. Uh, especially the, the Disney or like animated ones you normally they, they send one of these along with like a lithograph which I wouldn't be surprised to see a lithograph in here yep there speaking of there a lithograph so we got Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs so who's that isn't that what's his name Scrat Scat Scrat Something like that. I don't know who the other one is. I don't think I've actually watched that Ice Age. Is that like the third one? Third or fourth one? They got they got quite a few of them. I've seen a few of them. Alright. Last things in here are we've got some Incredibles. Um, to and from you know Christmas stickers or the hell you call those things I don't know you, and then you got like a little gift box that, and when I say little gift box that's what I mean this literally is just it just gets big enough to put like a DVD or something in. so I won't be keeping that I mean I won't ever use it for anything but these I keep because that's what I use at Christmas Looks like I opened up the right one. Good. So the other one I can just leave closed and, uh, and I'll just give it to my daughter uh, for Christmas. But there you go. That is the uh, the fall, winter, I, I can't remember exactly what they called it. Um, Disney Mystery Box. So I want to say it was right around 30 bucks. 25 30 somewhere in there and uh you definitely get your money's worth i think because i mean the blu-ray by itself is i mean conservatively you're gonna say what 15 bucks 
at least, if not more. Um, a fleece throw like that is easy, you know, at least another 15 bucks. Uh, this Christmas ornament, if you were to go to say like Hallmark and buy a Christmas ornament like this, what would you be paying? Price seven, eight, maybe ten bucks. Uh, little charm thing is probably only a couple bucks, but uh, lithograph, I don't know what kind of price you could put on that, but I would imagine that over time, some of these small lithographs, I mean, they might go for you know, ten or fifteen bucks a piece. So, I mean, all together, I think I figured it up one time with a pass box, and you get about fifty to sixty dollars all together uh, if you were to price everything out. So, it's worth it. And if you're a Disney fan, then you know you'll definitely get like. You know, I pretty much own almost everything from Disney. What the hell was that? Something fell. I thought the dog came up here again. But, uh, yeah. I don't have that one. So, take that downstairs. Take the lift wrap downstairs. We'll take the... Whatever those things are called for Christmas downstairs. So I'll leave them up here. I'll forget they even have them. Actually, I'm going to take all, actually all this stuff downstairs. Just that'll work. That's where it'll go. Again, the other box, princess box. I want, obviously, it's probably got like a Blu-ray in it, but I don't think it's got a fleece throw because it stuff moving around too much in it. So I have to wait till Christmas to figure out what's in that one. We'll let my daughter open it up. So. There we go. That's actually, I'm thinking about it. I might, I might go ahead and order another one of those um, for sister. Uh, chance are they might get the exact same thing in each box, which is just fine because then they each have their own. Uh, but they might might be different too. At least the Blu-rays and stuff in them might be different. But yeah, I might do that. Because uh, I mean, Star's getting, she's getting to the age now to where. You know her interests and stuff are changing, but much like my daughter, I know she still likes Disney and stuff. So um, anyway, yeah. So there we go. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Coming up next, the next video after this one will be. Um, I haven't decided whether I'll do them both in the same video. I might split it up and do two separate videos. That way, a little bit shorter videos. But I have two mystery boxes from Insane Toy Shop. So, those will be coming up next. And I've got some other stuff ordered. i, I got some stuff ordered from Child's Collectibles. That, that'll be coming. Um, so, yeah. See all this stuff? Subscribe and hit that bell. And then you'll know when I uh, upload the videos. And until then, until the next time... That we are all here together once again. Everybody, look out for yourself and those around you so that we all have a much better chance at staying safe and healthy. Until the next time, see you.